Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do like a nail studio tour. I'm going to show you my nail little room, my nail area. I work from my home, so it's not actually a room. It's just kind of a piece of my living room that I kind of like book like a bordered off type of thing. I'll show you it in a moment. Um, yeah, and then I thought we'd go through all my nail art, like everything I have. So all my Alex drawers. Let's just be a little nosy, shall we? So I think that's what we're going to do today. Shall we get started? So here's how my studio kind of is or where my studio is in my home. This is my living room on this side. So I just built this cabinet system that I use as like my pantry. And that kind of just hides my studio and works great for storage. So kind of just enter here through the side, a little bit of like a lounge area. I was just kind of laying there, should have fluffed that up. Um, but, and then this is my nail room. So I absolutely love my area. I've really made it function for what I need and want for content creating. So as well as I'm able to take people if I like, then that's all my nail art. So I thought we'd go ahead and just start with what's up top. We'll go through all that and then yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. I would definitely get a snack. You're going to need it. So let's start over here. So now to show you from this angle. So this is kind of what I see when I'm in my area. Um, I do have a thing on my windows here. So it's like a film. So the UV light will not come in, affect my gels. So you can see which ones have it on and which ones. So I can definitely... I kind of just moved it today just to get a little bit more light. It was a kind of a gloomy day out. Um, so yes, the desk. I'm not going to go in the drawers or anything. Like I said, guys, there is a video out. I did pretty in-depth with that one. I'll just give you a quick over little view. This is set up right now for content creating. And then I do have my light up here as well. Now my polishes on the wall. All the ones up top are all Candy Lover. And then the ones um, underneath that is all Madame Glam and my CJS stamping polishes. Now if I move over here, I'll just kind of show you like my swatching wall. This, oh and these polish racks, um, the clear parts are just from Amazon. This piece of wood I got from Home Depot. And I just opt out, I just left it natural. I love the natural element, I think it's just gorgeous. But um, you could paint it or something as well. But I attached these onto them just to make it so there wasn't a million holes in my wall. Yeah, and I really like the way that it turned out. And I feel like it's something that could always move as well, right? You don't have to take them off. And then that is just like a half of one of those sheets. There are a little bit of artwork on my wall over there, my logo. And then, um, sorry, excuse me, the swatch stick. So I just leave my paper towel there. It just is so handy, to be honest. This thing, I just got it from Michaels. This is a, it can go in your cart as well. So I'm going to try to remember to say where I got stuff as I go through. So uh, guys, be patient with me on this video because this is, like I said, this is going to be a lot for me. So all these swatches, this is how I have all my swatches. And I kind of just made this little panel you see here with, they're just little woods that you can buy from like the dollar store. And then it's a dollar store, um, like MacTac paper, contact paper. And then so that way I didn't have to put all these on my wall because they will rip your wall for sure. So I just have it attached with some command strips, a whole lot of them. Um, but yeah, so just kind of cute, kind of makes it look like it, um, it like um, extends. That's the word I'm looking for. And then if we go over here, so we'll do up top first and then we'll drawer by drawer. Okay, so up here on these two Alex drawers. These two are just um, two desk legs stacked on top of each other. So up here I just have, in this little box, I just have my cards. So we have a little game that we play, um, Design and Nail Cards. I kind of created that little game just to kind of, I don't know guys, just to help inspire us, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we do play that in my Facebook group, VR Nail Talk. 
these in all truth are just swatches of dips that I've just never put away. They just are there, that little bunny cup, because I thought that was the cutest cup ever. Little speaker I just got from AliExpress. Um, I'm a sucker for like those buy three in the little combinations or whatever. So I, I don't know, I got this little speaker. I didn't have a speaker in here, but then I recently just got the, um, what is it called, Bose um, speaker, so. But it's cute though. You can still stay there for now. Here I have all my FN polishes. Those are a brand from AliExpress. I love them. I think they're so cute. The bottles are gorgeous. The polishes are actually pretty decent. Like they're actually like, I find them pretty good polishes. So like it's kind of a win-win. But yeah, the polish, the the polishes, <laughs> the bottles is definitely what like drew me in for them. And then under here, I just have my little BB toque, always trying to represent. And then my collaboration with BB, um, Brian Brothers, their headwear company there. Um, we did a collaboration and then I have my logo on a mug. This mug broke. I know. But it still works great to hold. Just again, some swatches that I have to put on rings. Or I, I also like to keep like what colors are in season or something. So that's always a good little idea for there. And here, all these little guys, guys here are just glitters, hearts, leaves, different shapes, my fine glitters. So I really just, my foils, and all of these are, are from the Dollar Tree, and I just taped them all together, and then they're just in rows. So I do like to put just little, little things in there, my pixies, some pigments, stuff like that. Even some different type of foils. These are more for foil flakes though. They're not like, you know, in the sheets and stuff. So that type of foil. Like. And then for an example here, these are all just mixed shapes. You just kind of want to have like a good fun little nail. That would be the drawer to go into. Just some, like, I think these glitter. Some I still have to label. I haven't labeled everything yet. These are, like, some sweater, like, knit glitters, I feel. I don't know. That's the type of vibe it gave me. Yeah, so just stuff like that. And then up top, those little eggs I just put there. I just got them in from, um, where did I buy them from? The Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's it. I just set them there for Easter um madam glam video i want to use them in so we're just gonna sit there and look cute for now and then like i said the background is just um kind of what you would see on the other side too i did put a little trim on this back of this cupboard um and then like a little bit of contact paper and then like some art just to make it look more like a wall from my side and then some little plants coming down and then over here, this usually isn't here. It actually just has some um, candy lover polishes in for a giveaway. But the Mod Madame Glam boxes are, are like small and come in handy. So, okay, let's start from here. So I just took that out so we can just look at the colors. That's the majority of the colors that I have are over here. So I just have a little chart. And then these are literally all those crystals. They're all from BDD. I get them from AliExpress. They're actual like glass, so they're not gonna lose their dinge or anything like that. So I just think they're stunning. I really love the quality of their crystals. So that's usually where I get all my fat, my flat backs. Okay, and then here are also all the colored ones. And that's all of those ones and then in these little guys these are just my Swarovski crystals I don't have a lot of them I kind of got on that train a little late and then I have also have that one as well back there yeah, they're just a little harder to get you still to find them at Michael's but now not so much and then here I just have my Madame Glam pudding gels we need to get more of them and fill that up and then here we just have some other crystals that will start to probably end up living their life in this drawer. 
And I do believe I have a few more of these to put away as well. So. These drawers, guys, are from Michaels. I think they're for like their construction paper. Um, they're really, really, they're really long. I forget, I forget how many pots you could um, fit in it. Check out my nail desk tour, and I think I did say how many pots could fit in these. And so this, you could also stand these up as well in here if you wanted to use it for like a glitter storage. Plenty of room. So yeah, they're pretty good little containers. But back over here now. So down below here, this is just all my gels that I have made. They're all made with IBD, so they're all hard gels and Mika powder. They're all just numbered. They do have the name of whatever the pet Mika powder was. And that's them there. And then up here we have my mud gels and my GD Coco gels. These are all my Venelisa mud gels. They're in really no order there, in all truth. I'll have to probably put them back in numbered order, but for now they're just kind of living their life. And then again, all these are my GD Cocos. I do have the whole collection. so. There is a video up on all the swatches for these two guys on my channel if you really want to know what they are and their consistency and all that good stuff you can also find that somewhere <laughs> so we'll move over oh sorry about that um so those stands it is a little tight in here when you're trying to walk around with that chair and my chair honestly i would kind of tell you guys about it but it's an old chair and like there's like just springs I feel in the butt. I did just like recently get this little thing. I'm gonna see how that works, but I really do need to invest in a new chair because we sit a lot, right? We're, we're sitting a lot, so it hurts my back. But yeah, it's a little tight when that chair is like in my way. So sorry, this little whole system um, goes on two Alex drawers. So those are the big ones there and they just sit on top of those two so here now we just have this little polish rack so i have some of these gels here i haven't worked with them to be honest i've only ever swatched them i just love the bottles um so i can't really tell you much about that brand but here we have the born pretty rubber bases i have their whole collection there love them love the bottles they're just so gorgeous beautiful beautiful colors and then down here we just have some glitter bells so these are just literally just some glitters and i just love the packaging i think it looks so cute so for now while i have the space i just want to have them on display because i just think it looks so cute and even with the born pretty polishes in the background they just match like so nicely Okay, so here, just a little bit of artwork I made. Um, I really have that like natural vibe in my home. So I just made that, <laughs> some little canvases out of scrap, um, or not scrap, but like leftover Mac tack I put on that wall for my little nook. I love that area too, guys. It's so relaxing just to sit there and that is where I edit most of my videos and kind of just chill out. So back to nails, sorry, and sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> Here is just my other little table. This is an Alex drawer dupe. Um, this is from Amazon. Oh, sorry, I apologize again. Um, so that one is standing on the nine Alex drawer units. And then here we are for this one. Here's just more, I would just, I don't like to keep this too cluttered because it's like when you walk in, I don't want that in my area. So just a little, flower arrangement that I made and I'm crazy probably like Dollar Tree or something like that who knows um, and then here I have all of my like little markers and inks and stuff like that um, yeah like these little what do you call them acrylic pens that's it so I have them I have used some I have this these are the born pretty ones and then those I've gotten off AliExpress here just sits some extra dust brushes, nothing too crazy. This little guy to hold like nails. And what else do we have? 
Oh, we have those little uh, bullion bead pens. I'm not a fan of them, in all truth. <laughs> then we have some Sharpies, and then here are all brand new cuticle pens. So they're just there to either grab, you know, containers from um, probably HomeSense, in all truth, more than likely. And again, like a HomeSense find. So I would say my accents in here is marble for sure. Okay, this little tray here, nothing crazy. It just has my solutions and stuff like that in it and for my dirty bits. I like that because I could just grab that and put it on my desk. So that works really well for me. Okay, is that it? Because I'm exhausted. Okay, let me show you this here quickly. Um, this is new. I just got this in. So this holds my fingers. And then I use these little pens for my phone, for my tablet all the time. Like, I don't text with my finger. It's I literally text with a pen, so I always try to have them, like, really handy. Um, all my Yaster brushes. I love these brushes. Um, I do have the set there. And then these ones are their liner brushes. Work really good, too. I messed up. When I first got these, I took all the lids off and put them back on. And ever since then, the lids are not holding tight. But I know it's because I mixed up all the lids, so try not to do that. <laughs> And then yeah, this just holds some of like my most recent stuff. I love this little thing, dust brush. Super cute. Got it from Ali. And yeah, that just kind of sits there. I did kind of. I just revamped that. So now let's go into the drawers. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do again. Sorry for the dizziness. I'll try to figure that out in my editing world. <laughs> Let's just start up here and then we're going to go work our way down and then we'll work our way this way and then that's it, we'll call it. Okay, so we're going to start over here on the right side. So this top drawer here is nothing. <laughs> Isn't that the most exciting? Um, no, I just have an extra one of these little guys and I'll show you what I use them for. And so far nothing in that drawer, which I love. I love having extra room. So here we have a label. So we have poly gels. And I have a lot of poly gel. I just, I don't know guys, I just don't work with it often. To be honest, I probably should really try to incorporate that a little bit more. Okay, so the couple brands that I do have is Gershin. Just have them here. I have these little, um, I think they're toothpaste squeezers. Just to get all the poly gel out. Or sometimes these are really, really hard. So these actually help really well to just to squeeze down the container. Um, so yeah, we have them. We have Roslyn here. Just a couple, again, I do try to label them. Um, Tomica, which I really love. I actually really liked their clear. Worked really good for big bling. Um, okay, just some gel in one as well in there. And then here we have Venalisa, which is quite a bit. And then a whole whack of Venalisas back there. A few, like, brand, honestly, they're all brand new. I haven't even used them. I just ordered a whole whack and they're sitting here, unfortunately. So we definitely have to do something. Give me some ideas. Let me know in the um, comments down below what we can do with them. So here, next one down, we have charms. Okay. These are all of my crystals that I have. Some, I'll just go through a couple. I don't want to be too crazy. So here we are. I labeled that as just a variety pack. Here we have gold and silver. And that usually means, like, if they're literally mixed. There we go. Okay. And then some more down here. Mixed shapes. Some pointed backs. And then, again, all of mine are labeled on the front. So you'll be able to see it when you're looking for what you want. Just makes it easier for me and then this goes three back and it holds two four I think we're five yeah I'm sorry I apologize so we're five up and three deep I guess you would say that you can fit in the, the desk Alex drawer um, legs or whatever you want to call them tables <laughs> Because that is all this is, is just two of these on top of each other. Because I love these drawers so much. So the next one again is charms. Here, exactly the same thing. They're going to be labeled. I have, ow, my finger. I have three more of the containers down there. These are pretty empty. So we 
have room to grow. And then we have anything that has a name on it will have something in it. So we have something gold down there and metal pieces. And then we have a couple empty containers, which is always nice. All the pots, these come with pots. Okay, let's just show you. Okay, so all that all these containers are this. This is exactly what they are. I get them from Michaels. They're just like bead storage containers. They come with 10 gram pots already in it and that plastic case around it. I haven't seen them anywhere else besides Michaels. Um I think maybe you can get them on Amazon, guys. I've never seen them on Amazon though. Or maybe I have. Honestly, I, I don't even remember though. But the 10 gram pots you can buy on Amazon. I just don't know about the containers. So here, let me just move to the side. These are all my really large crystals. Maybe I should stay over here, that light. So we have a couple of these ones. And then anything else really big here. And then we have... Ooh, some good big bodies there. Look at that pink one. Oh, I want to put her on a nail so bad. This gives me so much inspiration. I gotta get back into doing some little extra nails. I don't know what that was stuck to. Okay, I do. Sorry, like a little piece of silly putty. That clear museum wax. It works really good, but I don't know why. It must have got stuck on something in there. Um, yeah, and then we have a couple up here. them back so our next one down says stamping plates wow they put i put an i there that's an l but okay we need to change that <laughs> good to know look wow that's been on there for a minute too anyways it's supposed to be an l um, so here we have all my stamping plates. So what I do is I just have them um, separated into kind of categories that I remember. Stuff that's easier for me. Um, so yeah, that's all I do for that. And then what I use for these dividers, which are just clear acrylic dividers. And you can cut them, but you you need like a, do it like a specific way. And then that's all that these smaller ones are. There's them cut in half, but you can get them cut. And they're just called acrylic sheets on Amazon. And that's what I use. Those dividers. And that's all my snapping plates. Okay, we have polished. I can sit for this now. <laughs> okay, so now after stamping plates, we have um, Jelen. So Jelen has their own drawer. These little container or these little um, things is what I showed, just showed you up top there at the very beginning. They're just like little dividers you can get. So they hold all my polishes, all my gel and polishes. So they're really, really like, I don't know. So far, it's the best thing I found that works. And then it just goes back. And then, sorry guys, it's getting awkward to hold you. Here is just overflow so it's it or if it's like a, another color that i have i just put them back there and that's it for that drawer again model ones they also get their own drawer so we have a few different colors here how i do it i kind of try to do it like rainbow but to be honest just keep the color with the color if it's purple then you know in my other system or you'll see a little bit later you'll see that it just it's almost running by color at that point and then I do separate the glitters in the back. And then there's nothing in the back there. We have a little bit of room that we could just have some storage. But for now, that's all. Okay, so this is PR and to be filmed. I'm not going to open that one because there is some stuff in there that we have to do. But that's just like what I know I have like to film. Then I have a drawer specifically for that. So this one here is my decals. And... Thank you for um, focusing. So these are just, um, what do you call them? Photo albums that I got from Walmart. And they come in this little thing. Literally that's how they come. And I kept them in there. And I love that as a storage system. So I just use these for bigger decals. Okay, 
if you're not gonna one hand it with me yeah but you kind of get the gist of what so yeah and I think I did at one point try to do my alphabetical but it just gets mixed up and realistically I'm not that that crazy <laughs> so and then here again these are just little um, books that I absolutely love because I can put even just keep brand new ones and then like just the bigger stickers like that which I like because like for instance this is Christmas I'm not even gonna need these till next year so what if I feel to do like a little giveaway and I wanted to add a few things and it was nice just to keep the brand new ones too but yeah and then that's how that one goes and then I do back here have a couple extra ow my finger oh these are some stickers that are just a little kitty in all truth um they still have some cute like ones don't get me wrong but I just didn't feel to put them in my collection but they are there if needed again they could be great to also throw in giveaways just to grab a few of them um back there we have oh another one fell should be here at some point and then yeah we just have some extra tips like toe tips stuff like that anybody else tired like this is tiring last but not least overstock so this drawer here has basically my extra my extras like my overstock so like over here I have my extra Madame Glam no white and then I have an extra base over here two two no white peel base yeah. And a base coat so i do have a couple extras i have two top coats in there which i love madame glam's top coat um so yeah just any of like your extras right we also have like refill that elisa's just some snow top coat I'm trying to get like the snow effect yeah just little extra stuff like that a couple stands i don't really use these stands in all truth but they probably came in something and then back there is just extra. Okay, we're getting low. We have BT Art Box. So we have some of their nails. These are already pre designed. So I do like to have my pre designed nails back here as well. Just some white ones. Okay, so we also have like rave nails. There's some more rave nails back there. So yeah, it literally just holds all my pre-designed press-ons that I have in the companies. These ones are really nice though. I like the rave ones too, they're cute, but the ones are like, they're so pretty. But they're full-fledged butterflies, so I think I need to wait a little bit for that. Um, yeah, and then that's it. Down here, got some extra um, top coats and base coats. I think this is a good greeny polish. Yep, in case you need some um, nail repair. These like are those water nails. You can put water in them. I've never used them yet. One day. And that's really it. A couple extra stands. Stuff like that. Ow. Those little boxes, these little things here are just these things from Dollar Tree. That's all they are. I just grabbed pink and blue because that's my colors. And just did them in a little design. And this, like I said, these are the t the legs basically we use for the desk. Alex drawers. So you know how deep it is that they fit in there. Perfect. So it's a good way just to like store stuff that's you just want all over. Okay. okay. We're going to start from up here now and then work our way down. And we still have a couple more. Okay, so this top one it just says inspo and new art. So this top one here I usually have would have one more little bin here and I would have like if I 
if I want to do a design like if I kind of put them in their little area so I put whatever colors and then just have some nail inspiration and then create the set right so clearly I need some nail inspo <laughs> um these I just have to really take them off the box and then put the little nails away there's just some like little designs or like little I don't know arts that I was trying I'm kind of cute though little gnome guy it's like a big gnome guy and I tried to I tried to um draw like a reindeer I don't know I feel like I didn't do a very good job but so yeah I was just practicing some um nail art so I do have to take them off I have a little bucket thing that I keep all them in and then here is just stuff from a recent haul so I just did a recent haul I have to put all this stuff away but I like a place to keep that stuff until I do that so I just like to have this drawer now I don't want it to get any fuller or packed so I try to keep it where you know and I want to obviously get my stuff put away but it's it works well when you just want to dump it for a minute because yeah <laughs> it can be a lot sometimes so that's that drawer now my next drawer here says mixed art and that's all that this is oh I apologize these containers are from Dollarama um, I haven't seen anything similar to that at Dollar Tree guys story and then yeah just so I put a little non-stick thing there okay here now I did the kind of the same system as I did down there in my overstock I but I have these little buckets that you can get from Ikea and I think they're like under a dollar or something and then yeah I just did it as like a little drop system because I feel like for these items the drop system would work fine so here I just have some different shaped crystals these are all glass I got them from Ali and it, it came with the containers that they're in so I don't know where you would buy them separately but probably on Ali as well you could get them and then yeah so I just keep them there mix shapes these are just some acrylics I did have better I don't want to say better brand but a better yeah better brand acrylic but I kind of gave them all away because I just don't use acrylic so I just use these for sugaring um so it doesn't really matter and they're really fine actually the Merovin is really really fine so I find it works really good for sugaring or I like to get your sweater effect and then yeah so I just have the white of theirs as well and then I think I made this gold I made that gold when I did was pl playing when I was playing with acrylic for a little bit there um okay so here so this is a silicone mold just a couple that I have I haven't used too many of them um, down here we have all of my little pebbles so these type of things these guys probably came from Sheen, Aliexpress that type of stuff wow my hands are so dry wow girl okay so here we have some seashells I kind of tried to color coordinate them but clearly with seashells like they're already like so many different colors but I try my best. So these are like the more white ones. Creamy like earth tones. I would more say. And then here we have like the purpley ones. Some blues. Again they all probably came in these containers. Or I kept these style of containers. And switched them out for the little round ones. Because you'll notice you'll get these. Don't throw them out. You can repurpose them. I did. I prefer this ones with the square rather than the complete round. They're easier to hold. So I think I did transfer a lot of them over here, but so we have here we have some pinks. They're just pretty. I have a crazy nail um, thought for these. I'm gonna see if I could make it come to life. And then here again we also have some more shells. Just. I try to keep the colors you know a little color coordination back here these are just some okay some bunnies just kind of like those really thick shaped um little glitter pieces some of them are really thick though so yeah i just kind of keep them there moving over a little bit here we just have some magnet butterflies nothing too crazy a couple packs of them fit in there good here we just have some Madame Glam stuff I got in a PR. So I have some of the foils and then I have their gel paint. 
just set them there, I guess. A couple odds and ends. Little things that you get. Sometimes I just keep them there. Hopefully I can try to use them and it'll make me use it rather than put it away in a book somewhere and then never look at it again. <laughs> so I try to keep these little things out. Now this is just stuff that I got. Again, this is um a collection that I got in from Colorful July. So I just kind of kept what I could together. A couple little like glow for or glow hearts a little bit of glitter from them here is just some different rings these type of things once it gets all mixed together i'll put it in a pot but for now i keep them like that i think i also have a couple more in here any different ones i think i have a christmas one as well even yeah so just a little wheels i only have a few I find that that works usually I would mix all them together so and I think that's it for that drawer and then behind it I just have some napkins for the table the dental bibs mixed nail art again so these containers again are from Ikea um, in the same section you would find those little guys they work really well so let's just start over here these are just magnets for cat eye, so I have a few different ones. Some work kind of cool, some do give you the print, some don't. But um, yeah, there's a few there to try. These are Born Pretty's 5D um, gels. They're kind of, they're fun. I have a whole little collection of them, so I have a few different colors there. Um, some Swarovski's. These are the, how do you call them? The ones that you iron on? But they were like so dirt cheap that I'm like, I could still use it for nails. So I just got them. I just haven't you took them out of there because they're the iron on and that's all though. Like that's the truth. <laughs> so here we have some butterflies. Some, um, what do you call it, designer ones. And then just a little couple of Fimos. So these I don't really keep. I really don't like these um, containers. You won't see them a lot in my studio, but something for like this, I would just keep them in there. And then if we move over, these are all my Venalisa liners. I have um, both collections of them, or no, sorry, I apologize, all three of the collections. And then I have one Madame Glam that I got in their calendar. Really, really pigmented, nice. And then here, these little guys are from like the dollar store, but like, I don't actually know if I've seen them at Dollar Tree. I can't remember. But they're just liners. These are good shake. I've had them for so long, but they work fine. I just gotta keep them there. These are just some um, little swatches of different collections that I have. Dip powders. I don't know, that's all the dip powder that I actually have. And that's the Azura Beauty one. They sent me that. So I do have that as a selection if I want to try some dips. And then just some extra little lights. Some swatches from a collection that I clearly did not label. On to the next. <laughs> so this one just says nail art. Mixed nail art. Okay, so here we have my little soak off dishes. I don't use these as soak off dishes. I actually use these to hold my clear jelly stamper when I'm stamping because they fit perfect and I, I can just like throw my not throw but it's just easier this does not tip over I have my polishes all lined up I love it it works amazing so that's actually what I use them for but they are soak off dishes and underneath is just a little palette that I got from Ali. it's kind of big but you know when you're in there getting in all your creativity it works good Okay, beside that, these are just some pieces of paper, but they have like that shininess on them, almost like a backing of a form. So it's good if you want to create stuff and put in the lamp. So I do keep them. And then I just take what I need. Here we have some cutters. Never use them, ain't gonna lie to you. We have some oh tip guides. Ain't gonna lie, never really, I've never used them. And then we do have this little mat. Again, it's like a mold. I've never tried to use this, though. So you can put your 3D arts in that. You can put probably... I don't know if a polish would work, but I think it's more for the 3D gels. But I've never tried it. One day I'll get to it. 
Okay, let's go back over here. So here are just some brushes. Now these brushes are just for watercolor. Okay, so two examples. I have these brushes for my watercolors. I just got them off Alley. There's like a lot of different sizes. And I like that they have like a little bit of belly in them so it holds a little bit of water, like the way that those brushes kind of look. And then I also put my brand new cleanup brushes in there so they don't get all mixed up. So that's all for just water paints. Um, here's all my like my watercolors. So, they're all just there. And then all these are also watercolor. Watercolor, all watercolors. These are some little, like, pigment and alcohol things that I made. So, they're neat. I still keep them. Um, over here, we just have some acrylic paints. So, I mainly have... Well, I'll say mainly. I have a set of these ones, Arteza. And then I also have these little guys I got from the Dollarama. I don't know how good they are, though. I know truth. But I do have, like, the main set here. So they're back there. And then here we have, and they're all labeled, even if you look here. It's, they're all labeled at front. So we have some shell effect gels. So these are all shell effect gels. And I have the swatch right beside it. Eventually would I move that if I got more stuff in there? Yeah, I would probably. Okay, but anyways, I can't do all that with one hand. So that's what's in those bottles. And they're all labeled. So very easy just to grab whatever one I need to grab. And for now, they just live there. And then here are all the alcohol inks that I have. So Nibiru, this is a, a company on Alley. I actually really, really like their products. They have a lot of really good stuff. They have a store on Alley. I'll definitely put that link down there. So I have a, like a lot of their inks. And I think I have a couple other ones that I got from like another store and I think some from did I get some from Amazon? Probably Amazon too. Yeah, so that is that drawer. Next drawer. So here we just have some different polishes. Again, everything is labeled for what I need it to be. So here is just some different cat eye polishes. Um, nothing too crazy. I think I have the Vanilisa ones. Some Born Pretty ones, um, French jeans, have some of those, just some different brands all over. So, okay, so yeah, those are all cat eye there. These are kind of mixed, again, just like some little guys here, Nail Vision. So they are in this type of container. I got this container from Sheen, it's for markers but it holds those little guys. So that worked really well. Gets your thumb stuck in there too. <laughs> These are some like glass gels. Chun Chun. I have no clue guys, I'm so sorry. Um, look, I forgot to do that one, isn't that crazy? Um, glass gels, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. So they just kind of live in there. Um, so I try to really have like my effect gels in different areas of my gel polishes. Because I think I feel like I use them more for accents, so I use them a little bit more in, in different, like, art in different ways. So here, these are my reflecting glitters. So I have the Venelisa's, I have the Charm ones as well. They're both gorgeous, like, they're so, so pretty. If I had more than one hand right now, I would show you, but there's definitely there is videos up of them. I see you guys back here. Why'd you guys call? Get up. Okay, I'll fix you later. Um, so here I just have some nudes. I just got like a little nude collection off Alley. Um, Mitzi. They're small little bottles, but they do have some nice little colors. So it's just a couple of them, which I like to use these style of colors for like backgrounds and stuff when I stamp. So 
so I just have them there and then I do have a couple which I love this like this brand I worked with them for a little bit iced coffee I, I need to check them out a little bit closer in all truth um but beautiful beautiful colors love the packaging too so that's nail reserve I like that they're a top swatch so again that's just some nudes and then here I just have some black and whites and I swear I'm gonna lose my voice <laughs> So these are just black and whites. I have Model 1s, Born Pretty, Benelisa somewhere in there, um, Candy Lover, Jelen, like just the brands that I work with, um, they're black and whites. I like to just have them in one area instead of having to go in like seven different areas to grab black and whites. So I do like to just kind of keep them there. And that's it for that drawer. This here is just an extra container for now. Don't know how that will live, but these drawers, again, these are Alex drawers. These long containers I get from Dollarama. You can find them on Amazon as well. And they do fit two, four, six, eight across for the long ones. And you have a pretty good little gap as well. Hard gels. And then we have another drawer, <laughs> a whole other system after. So these are all my hard gels. I don't have a lot of brands of hard gels, in all truth. Um, so we can start over here. These are Venelisa's. This is Canny. Jelen, um, I haven't, this is a Russian brand, again from Ali, um, Amazon, Ali, Ali, AliExpress, but these ones are Michere, Michere, I don't know guys, um, but I do actually like these ones, these are a little bit thinner, but I do love the colors of them and I'm missing a little dot tab um here these are my born pretty ones these gels work really well good too so i do have that system we have savvy land and then we have ibd i use a lot of ibd but i usually buy it um this bottle is disgusting don't judge me but <laughs> i usually buy it in the big ones so i just get it from my local supplier um, but yeah, we have some IBD and then this is my young nails. So I do have all the young nails ones. I don't use that often. I love young nails. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with their, their synergy gel. But yeah, I don't know. I think cause I don't really just build it out and clear. Are you going to focus? But yeah, so we do have their, their color gels. Not, well, not color gel, sorry. Flex gel, concealer pink, your, um, like your basics I guess you would say and then these are the smaller ones you get as a little like like tester kit I bought a couple of them okay so we're going to get to the next one now okay now on to the second Alex drawer so this is glitter the down the next three down I apologize are just glitter so I do kind of color coordinate it and the best I can for the most part glitter you just get a lot of mixes right so it gets a little bit more difficult. So this is how I do mine. I had just used, and I don't, I don't know, like, here we go. So I could not find the Ikea spice racks for the life of me when I got in this game. So I needed something that would work. So I just lined my drawers with like foam tape. And that's all that is. Just a little like foamy tape. There's some adhesive on the other side, and then I just put it in strips down there. Not like the prettiest, but at the same time, you don't even see it. Do you know what I mean? Once it's all in, you can't even see that. So I'm perfectly fine with it, and I am like little things like that do bother me. So if I can live with it, I think it could be a good solution for you. <laughs> so now here with this, like I said, I do try to color coordinate it. Here's my next one. Now here we do go into like pieces. So we have a little like milkshakes. Some little puzzle pieces. Some little LVs. Again, guys, it's going to be so hard for me to find links, so I apologize. I'm not going to be able to find links for a lot of these. But if you find something, I can try my best to find it for you. But So here I did 
continue with having some of my shapes and different little letters and then we go back even farther now these things are again kind of like the clear containers i showed you but there's a smaller version um i got from amazon i'll try to find it again guys a long time ago but i had no purpose for these little things right now um so i put them in the back there with the little foam tape and now i can just grab them out rather than trying to reach in and like get the glitter that i can't see so i use something like this so i feel like you could use anything like that and just use get your foam tape same way leave a little room and then you just pull them out right and then i do have a couple extra little glitters back here that will stay in whatever packaging that they came in because they already have a storage system so and then we have one more so this one's getting a little full all these glitters are either from glitter mix canada um, aliexpress sheen amazon and glitter bells we have glitter bells up here as well so this is just a piece of paper <laughs> my glitter tray that I got from um, Marshalls no I lied I apologize Michaels so I'm just gonna move that over here no dizzy and then here again the little trays they work really well because then I can go all the way back and I can still see all my glitter and you still get a good amount so and these are all 10 gram pots And that's that one. That just lives in there. And now down here we have chrome and stamping. So we'll start here. These are all my CAD stamping polishes. Um, I do like them. I haven't worked with them a lot. I think I just rather CJS. I just always kind of reach for them. Um, here's all my chromes. I do organize my chrome by number. And then they also match whatever stick they are number and then when that stick gets gross you throw it out but it does save them a lot more than just like using one new one every time and then yeah that's really it we have some different gels here these are gel stamper um stamping i don't really like the gel in all truth and then again they're all labeled so we have what's used, what's used for chrome, and then what is brand new. So we have a lint roller. I just have my logo on it. Little lint roller that I thought would work good. A little mat. Um, a little papers. Sticky pad. Um, some balls to put in your polish to shake them around. That's what this is too. Mixing bowls. That's really it. We, we have a couple odd little polishes here. A couple born pretty stamping polishes. Pin Pay, I believe that one is. So yeah, that's really all we have there. Now my CJS guys, if you don't remember. Sorry, I'm just going to move you over. All my CJS stamping polishes is right there. So. That's why I think I just go for them. Because they're right beside me as well. I just need a moment for that. That's gorgeous. Okay, next one is mixed nail art. Okay, holy, this is not how I thought this day was gonna go. So, now this one is mixed nail art. This drawer holds a majority of my kawaii stuff, my puff balls, my dried flowers, chains, that type of stuff we have going on in here. So, quick overcap. Let's go here. We have some puff balls, either Sheen or um, AliExpress, sorry. I do have my little heart magnets in there. Everything is labeled. Yes, I have a labeling issue, but by golly, she looks beautiful. Okay, some more puffs. These are all kawaii charms in one of those cases that hold all my charms. So that's all that is. And I just like the mix. I love the way it looks. It just gives me such fun vibes. I really need to do a quiet set. I've never done one and I just, I feel like I just need to in life. I need to be that bougie girl for a moment. Just for a moment. So we're going to put that back. Here, 
These are all designer and they just came like individually wrapped so I just left them like that and they all live in there. These are my dried flowers. Again, these storage containers are from Dollar Rama, Dollar Tree, Shein. I do have a video up, guys, about these are all my chains, about all about organization and containers. So definitely check that out if you want more in depth of knowing about those ones. Um, and then here we have a few more crystals. Um, I believe all these are BDD and they are glass. These are just those little paper guys. Just trying to do like a little mixed one. I think eventually it'll get full and then I can just have like a little variety. I like that container for them. New container, but it's kind of broken. And then we have Fimos also. And another one. So that's what lives down there. We have here, these are just Christmas charms. Guys, they're so big, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they just live there for now though. It kind of, you know, it works. And then here we just have some metal rings. So that would, you would need them to actually like hook these little balls on and you could hang it from your nail. That's kind of cool though. But they're a little big. But, okay. And then we have some brand new containers. And then here quickly, we just have some angel paper and those little string things. I'm not quite sure what they're called. And then we have bears in here. And then here, guys, we just have some more mixed stuff. So we have some flowers, we have some skulls, we have lollipops, we have some spinners, we have some Gucci kawaii, we have some extra large teddy bears, we have some regular teddy bears. Um, excuse me. Okay, so we just have some Sesame Street characters that are not labeled. Not a fan. Um, we have some feathers. We have some pearls. We have some real money and fake money. And then we have silver charms and gold charms. And that's how they work. And that works pretty well for me just to go in and look at whatever I need in that drawer. So that is all for this. Oh no, God, I lied. One more. <laughs> So this drawer here, it just says nail art and tools, and that's all it is. It's just extra stuff, guys. So this is a whole polish kit that I've had. Um, I just haven't incorporated it. So for now, I'm just leaving her there whole. These are just empty boxes. I do like to use them for giveaways. They're actually like a perfect little box. So I always try to keep two on hand when I can. So that's all that they're there for. Little mini light. Probably got in some PR. We have some Amio polishes with the swatches there gorgeous colors in that we have some bt art box so we have some of their tips in here we have young nails so we have one of their little starter kits so this is a full little young nail kit it's like a trial kit so they get small bottles but i purchased this a few times in all truth i purchased it just for the um the protein bond because it's the same size protein bond right if you really want to know that's actually why but I do love the the gels in there anyways this a company sent to me I think it works really good for just little dry skins um here what else do we have these are for my FN polishes I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but I did think that they'd be cute for just like seasonal display these little white things maybe not these these are probably garbage but these I think could look cute on your desk for a seasonal like display or just what you've been working on right for your clients so they came with it so I'm just gonna keep them in here for now and I guess I kept them for whatever reason so this is the born pretty it's a neon set that they sent me the polishes are in there I can't I don't know what set it is but I think it's like a neon set though gorgeous polishes but they are in the box there Oh, some Vamity press-ons. Gorgeous, gorgeous press-ons. So we have a Madam Glam little mini light. It's so cute. Oh yeah, we have this Dollar Tree light. I wanted to do a review on this to see how good it worked. Like, against, like, another brand. Like, a known brand lamp. Just, like, to give it a whole test. Let me know if you want to see that video. I've, I've had it for a long time. I was going to do it. But just let me know if it's something that would interest you. 
And then back there we just have some little toe or um, some little feet things for when you got your feet going. And then we do have some BT Art Box nail tips. Now these nail tips are gorgeous. I love them. If you have the room for these small bo like these boxes, I think they could be a great system. If you were like loving their tips and you just had all their tips, I think that would work amazing. So these are some brand new tips from them as well that I got off of Amazon. And they're just here because they just don't fit in my other tip drawer in all truth. She's a little full. For now that can be like that and then that is all for that drawer so that is the second um tall alex drawer technically two and one but we will move on now to the nine unit and see what's all in that okay so this is the last alex drawer and then we have like the little alex dupe there so this top drawer we have glitter gel polish and that is exactly what that is. Kind of keep the color in the color if I can, but it's not overly too, too crazy. And they're just literally mixed brands. So we have some nail reserve. We have some, let's see, we have some gel polish. What else do we have in here? There's a whole whack of just different brands. Some Amazon, Benelisa's, Melody Susie. Yeah, so just a whole whack of just different mixed brands. And this is where all my mixed brand polishes go. Actually, they all go in the drawer. So any like little lonesome guy, they'll end up being in my drawer system here. So I just kind of started kind of like rainbow-ish. I don't know, I started with my browns into my yellows and stuff. But I think sooner than later, everything will just probably get their own drawer. But I'm hoping in time, this collection like this will kind of be working out. Some of these I won't bring back. Some I'll just use, you know, some I will like, I know my mom's going to come read me for a few of my polishes. Probably mainly the pinks and blues though. So yeah. And again, these little things work great. There is some room in the back. You could always put some extra stuff back there as well. Again, either I swatch tab them or they still had their little tabs, so. And another one. This one's almost all purples. Some of them don't have the tabs, but they have the fronts, so. My born pretty. Okay, so and now we have my dust collector. So my dust collector sits in here, which she needs a good knocking out. I didn't clean it out after I used it yesterday. <laughs> um, so Melody Susie dust collector, Melody Susie fast curing lamp. This little guy, I just actually got it recently and I wanted to try to use it for one of my other hands that I have. I wanted to see how good that clip worked. So I had to find this little extension piece. So I just threw it in there because it was kind of an awkward thing in all truth so that's where we live in again everything is kind of um labeled so practice stands so here is exactly kind of what that is we have a little our long stand here i just got that in though we have our little thing to put our drill on we have an extra light that's that gel and light these lights are so cool like honestly i love these things so you can go to the website and get that off Jellin. Um, this is another hand rest. So a hand rest, a hand rest pillow. Back here, I think we do have like little stands. That is just a jar full of little stands and fingers. These things, I keep these for when I do um, like my swatch tabs or my swatch, not my swatch tabs, I apologize, like the swatch for the bottles, you know what I'm talking about, like the little fingers or whatever you want to call them. I think it's tabs. Anyways, so I put them on here to put in my lamp so that way it has something to go on to be cured on rather than it just sitting on like the bottom of my lamp. And I can get a few of them at a time, so I just kind of use them. So I do keep these when I get little packages, so that's all that's for. Um, some practice finger nails there. My little dust vacuum, got it off Alley. 
some little um, shea butter for your feet. I do like to use that. I think that's all some, um, what do you call them? Lint-free wipes. Oh, this is just like a drawer because I was trying to find something to put. Hold on. So yeah, I was looking for something to try to hold my drill at my desk and I realized that these Dollar Tree things actually hold it pretty well. But I needed something to like let it tilt up. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just trying, I don't know. That's why that was in there because I really thought that was cool. I wonder if I can get a piece of wood to kind of make it be like slanted on your desk you know what i mean that's what i'm trying to create with this little thing but that is just one of those little i don't know what you call it things from the dollar tree containers so that's why that that is what that thing is for down there next practice hands okay so this little feet massager is just like a little thing I like to have it on sometimes a little it just kind of like zaps you in all truth um, I got it from Ali and then here we have some extra dust brushes a couple stands a few little things like that some more of the little sock guys and then here we have practice hands so for practice hands I have this is the Elena hand I have her this is an AliExpress one. Um, don't get that color because, as you see, it looks a little corpsey, but it actually is a nice hand in all truth. It's just unfortunate that the color is gray. But other than that, it's a really good practice hand. So I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't really judge it off that. Don't we shouldn't be judged things off its color. This one is not bad. This is my second um, hand that I got. This is from uh, Amazon. I think this is a great first practice hand. This one was basically my first one, silicone practice hand. So she's there. And then I think I have my half hand. I only have one. I need to get another one of these ladies. So I have my half hand here, which I love her. And this is from Allie as well. And then I just have a little like stocking to put on the hand. Because the Elena hand has like a really long wrist. So you can put something on her to cover her up because it goes in, right? And that is it. That's all the hands that I have. I have some fingers on my desk as well. And they're all from Ali and one from the Alina, Alina Hand Company. Last but not least, okay, stationery and tools. Uh, for all my pots, I'm very low on pots. So I actually have to make an order from Amazon. Sorry, I keep forgetting. So very low on pots but the standard pots I usually use is a 10 gram pot I use these little pots for inside of where the up top glitters are and then these little guys here for shells this pot or this pot I won't even use so I don't even know why I kept them in there but they're there my soak off dishes and usually my sanitizer um, little white thing would be in here but it's actually in the kitchen with stuff in it so there that's it for that drawer. Now we'll go over. I'm going to have to set you up on a different thing and we'll go through this one. And then that'll be it. That's all my art, guys. That's everything I own. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try this way. So this top drawer here it has my full collection of Benelisa's. These are all the hard gels, jelly gels. The second drawer now this is my hard gels and cream gels so i have all my glitter bells i have a couple um, nail queen studio i have some savvy land now these little drawers i've made into two so i take this out and i can still have storage underneath so here i have my berry berry cream gels and then i have like my solid gels from born pretty and then I also have some canny ones down there as well. Oh, and then I also have a colorful July cream gel back there. All I did for these is I actually just made them out of just like little pieces of wood and then just made little trays that fit in, basically. Now here I have all color gels. So these are all my color gels. 
these ones here. And again, I don't think I have much, so. And in the bottom there, I have those color gels. Again, all from either Ali, Amazon. That's where all these ones are from. And so this one is my glitter gels. So these are just all glitter gels. So I have all my canny glitter gels. Gorgeous gels. These are mineral gels. All my berry berry gels. Like these are so pretty too. Look at these. These are off Amazon. I love these. They're so so beautiful. Like I love the berry berry um, gels. They're cream gels or glitter gels. Are really really nice. Um, and so affordable. So we take this tray out, and then we have all of these gels. These ones are more of a top coat. We have Vanalisa, we have Roslyn, but 99% of this in here is Vanalisa. 98, because we have one we have one Roslyn and one uh, candy. Honestly, guys, I can't even pronounce that name of that one, but they're gorgeous. These are really, really pretty. These I got off of AliExpress, and they are gorgeous. Again, it's going to be hard for me to have links to everything, guys. I've been building my collection for over a year, so... It's going to be a little difficult to find all links. So that's how I store those ones. Again, I like that I can double up my space. I find it works really, really good for me. My hand is sticky. Okay, now, last but not least, we have effect gels. So here, these are all different effects. They're so pretty. You have cat eye, you have the like mermaid effect, fur effect, flowers, jelly gels, and then if we go underneath, we have more effect gels under there. And what I mean by effect, I mean like our 3D gels that are like hard that sorry I'm hitting the table behind you guys Egyptian gels that's what I mean by effect gels metal effect spider gels so yes we have born pretty Roslyn canny Benelisa <laughs> and then some other just brands off of Ali as well so that is it that is my whole collection Now I have to clean that up. So that is it guys. That is my studio. <laughs> that was all my nail art. Um, I've only been in this studio now for a few months, but I absolutely love, 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 and I'm so grateful of how it came about and how it's growing. I, I really, really love it. So that's all my nail art. I started my channel um, September 2021. I think my first YouTube video went up in October 7th, so yeah, it's kind of crazy that this is my journey. And that's when I started really buying all my nail art and stuff like that, so, you know, a little bit now I've been collecting it, slowly but surely, um, but yeah, definitely have a few things. Thank you guys so much, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe by now if you haven't, by golly, like, what else can I do to convince you? This is all about nails. Like. <laughs> It's out of my hands now. It's out of my hands if you don't subscribe after this video. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.